Hey everybody, how's it going? So today we're going to get started on A1398 that's not powering on. The customer says that it was kernel panicking for a really long time and then eventually stopped turning on. Now, this is the model that's known for its U8900 chip defect where the chip that powers the that controls the power supply for the graphics card will come off the board. Not the graphics chip itself, but the chip that powers the GPU. So let's see if that's what's happening here. Because it could be that or it could be something else. Let's keep Because sometimes people can't really tell if their machine is turning on or not. Think about it. These things turn on with the fans very quiet. They don't have the little notification LED like they used to have on the top. So what we're going to do with this is the same that we do with most of these MacBooks. I'm going to power it on and see what it does. And of course there's a note in the screen with the address, email, phone number, everything that would have immediately doxed them. Showing to me that they don't clearly don't watch this stream. Either that or they don't want to be anonymous. So let's plug in the power supply and see what happens. So it looks like this is taking 283 milliamps, which is a strange number. That's often the number that's taken when PPBSG3 hot is shorted to ground. Let's see if that's the case here. I'm going to have my multimeter in voltage mode. It looks like we get 1.7 volts in the good old PPBSG3 hot. That is very short of what we're actually supposed to be getting. Oh. So, let's see if we have a short to ground on PP bus. Now, if we do this, the resistance to ground on PP bus is 30, let's see, 32 ohms? 32, 38, 39. That, that's kind of, that's a short circuit right there, so it's not a total short circuit, but it's enough of a short circuit. Let's take the board out of this machine and see what we can do with it. Many people have broken Lenovo's take them to get fixed. Just mail it in. Well, I actually did an experiment where I poured half a gallon of water or so, maybe like a quart, not half a gallon, around there. Somewhere between a quart and half a gallon of water into my machine while it was running. And I sent it to them, and they actually fixed it for free. And they, they sent me a box with a next day FedEx standard overnight label. And then they shipped it back to me standard overnight. And they didn't charge me. So, this is before I was, I mean, I had maybe 100, 120,000 subscribers, but I doubt they knew who I was. Linus has, what, 9 million subscribers? He can't even get Apple to fix his if he fucking pays them. He can't even pay them to fix it. Me, they're just like, oh, you screwed this thing up yourself? Here. Let's just fix everything for you. That's the thing. They're not the best with the right to repair stuff. It's not like I can ask them for a schematic and just get it. They got a litany of problems I talked about in a 2014 video on how authorized repair screws you. But the thing is, at the very least, A, they put an effort to make the product liquid resistant, and B, they're fair in how they treat you within the warranty period. So they're not as bad. Two hundred eighty three milliamps. I'm thinking if there's a PP bus short. 280 milliamps has got to be visible on here. the whole area. It's going to be one of them damn transistors. Thirty Celsius. One of the transistors in the GPU buck converter is what's doing it. This thermal cam is not doing it. It's just not giving me the information I need. Which one is it? Now this I can't put more than a volt into because if it is actually shorted that means I'm going to be sending like two volts to the GPU and that's very bad. Yeah, PP bus is shorted. I'm getting two ohm, two volts. This is the only area that's hot. 
It's got to be one of these GPU MOSFETs. It's got to be. If he was having random crashes and then it died, it's a GPU MOSFET. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oreo. Let's see if our short circuit is still there. Don't be 39 ohms. All right, so it looks like we're in the kill ohms now rather than the ohms. So it was those transistors that were shorted. And if we take a look at a board view for an 820-39, I mean 33-32, uh, the Paul Daniel software should have it in vertical view because drunk. So those transistors we removed, Q8930, Q8961, Q8931. These are transistors for the GPU buck converter. So this is going to be responsible for creating GPU vCore. Now, one of the reasons that this may have shorted, as I said on this board, the GPU buck converter chip itself actually starts to become desoldered from the board. And when that happens, it could cause those transistors to malfunction, which most likely happened here. Let's see what the solder joints there look like. Let's see what that... Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Look at that. Pure Apple ink right there. So we're going to replace those transistors and also resolder this chip. And then this gentleman should have less GPU crashing, if any at all. And also, it'll turn on because PPBush G3Hot won't be shorted to ground by really bad GPU vCore MOSFETs. It's a nice Amtec NC559 V2TF flux.
Okay, this works. That's beautiful. Now we are going to just move some of that flux away. Now we're going to create some nice solder joints over here. So solder some new transistors to the board. Solder. Hard to solder to this part of the board because this is going to have a very high thermal mass. You have to realize that the GPU is going to be using 35, 45 watts. So this section of the board has to pass a lot of power. And in order for the solder to stick to the pad, it's got, the pad's got to get hot. But the entire board is absorbing the heat. Think of it like the difference between punching without your body and then punching using all, putting your body into the punch. Hi, Oreo. Oreo is trying to turn my camera gear off. He's putting his foot on the foot pedal for the power to everything. Franchising the repair shop. That's a bad idea. The thing is, this is the ultimate anti-franchise business. It really is. The main selling point we have over all the other people is that we know what the fuck we're doing in the franchises of the places that, uh, you know, are long screwing shit and outsourcing crap with all it needs is a trackpad cable. So what I'd rather do is, I'd li I don't mind growing the place so that we get a lot of business. I'm okay with that. Again, that's why I'm looking at a 2200 square foot space that we're moving into, and that's why I'm working until you know, three, two in the morning in order to pay for that and make that happen. But I want it to be a place of the best of the best in the business. And I want to foster an environment where I'm working with the best of the best and I can attract the best of the best and I can look over it. You know, I'm not, I don't want to micromanage everybody, but I don't want it to be some kind of hands-off shit where I show up once a year after doing an interview with somebody. And I'd like a little bit more uh, input than that if my name's attached to it. Yeah, maybe.
Rapid cool technology. All right, I saw it just take an amp and then turn off. Now I see it take an amp again. And are we turning on? Show me a question mark folder, baby. Let's see if this thing gives me a question mark folder. All right, question mark folder. So you can see we got a question mark folder, so this seems to work. So this customer said that the issue they were having with this machine is that it was turning on and then turning off, having your standard graphics kernel panicking, which happens with this machine because the GPU buck converter chip starts to become desoldered from the board as the board warps inside the casing. However, he also had a different problem, which is that it stopped turning on. I was kind of curious. Did you mean actually stop turning on, or do you mean it's turning on but no video on the screen, and you can't tell if it's turning on because it has no status LEDs on it? And it was actually not turning on. I opened it up and I see that there's a short on the ground PP bus G3 hub. That's the main power line, 12.6 volts. It comes from the battery and the charger that she makes it as well. That power line is where every other line in the system is typically going to come from, including GPU gra V Corp. Now, when we used the thermal camera to try to figure out where the short was, the part that was getting hot were the three MOSFETs that were actually creating power for the GPU. So what I'm guessing happened is that when the GPU V-Core controller chip started to die, maybe it started to tell the MOSFETs to do things they shouldn't have been doing, which resulted in those MOSFETs dying as well. So we redid the transistors. We just wiped them off the board and replaced them. But at the same time, we also redid the soldering on the GPU buck converter chip controller so that this would not happen again and this is all that needs to be do is ultrasonic now cleaned up a little bit the fan grommet that the customer appears to have long screwed needs to be put back on the board and then this will be ready to be sent back to the customer so that's it for today and as always i hope that you have learned something